I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is pound force to pound mass conversion. So uh, this conversion is actually pretty simple because pound force and pound mass units only differ from one another uh, by constant. So we would say that they're directly proportional to one another. And here I kind of just defined the symbols that we're going to be using. So pound force, pound mass, and this is standard gravity. So this is uh, just an average value of gravity uh, that can be used all over the Earth's surface, and it's averaged over the different, slightly different values that you find at different places on the Earth. So the standard form of this conversion goes like this. We have pound force equals pound mass times standard gravity. And for those of you that know Newton's second law, you might see it in there. Force equals mass times acceleration, but that's beyond our scope right now. So if you have the mass, or sorry, if you're trying to uh, get the mass from the force, then all you've got to do is move this G to the other side by dividing. So you've got your mass, what you're looking for on this side, and then your force and a constant. And by the way, this constant is equal to approximately 32 feet per second squared, or 32.174 if you want it up to three decimal places accuracy. So again, a pretty simple conversion. And this can go either way as well. So if you've got the mass and you're looking for the force, use the top one here. If you've got the force and you're looking for the mass, use the second one down here. I'm Kristen Oviedo and that is pound force to pound mass conversion.